Hey, what's up everybody? Jerry Neesman of the Neesman team at Keller Williams Realty here for episode number 46 of the Neesman team tours. Thanks for joining. And uh, so we're here today, of course. Uh, so we're here today in North Fort Myers uh, looking at the Bay Point, Jesus Christ, the Bay Point Yacht and Tennis. Uh, it's an older condo community. They've got a combination of these uh, single story uh, sixplexes that is what we're going to look at today. And they also have some five story um, larger condo buildings. I don't know how many units are in those, but they're, uh, there's five stories and probably they're probably 30 or 40 units a piece. Um, so we're looking at these today. It's the uh, Bay Point Yacht and Tennis Club. Uh, we have tennis courts. Let me flip the camera real quick here. Beautifully maintained community. Uh, it's all condos. All condos here in North Fort Myers. Um, Gulf Access. It's an older community. They were built in the 80s, mid to late 80s. So the tennis courts are right here. Um, very well maintained. Yes, it is hot out. I don't know how you can tell that by the green grass and the blue skies, but uh, it is very hot today. You can see steam. It's probably coming off of me. Um, so here's the building. I don't know what Facebook's problem is. Doesn't like the connection here. Um, so these communities, uh, these these single story units, you've got a, as you can see, this uh, covered front fenced in front porch area. And then there's also a rear lanai. Uh, there's a number of units available in here. Um, what we're looking at today is one that just got listed about two, three weeks ago. Um, and it's a two bed, two bath, 1,051 square feet. Uh, this one is definitely dated, but it is also the lowest priced by far in the community. Um, so there's an opportunity to, uh, do some updates and make some money on it. The, uh, the ones that are all updated, um, the ones that are all updated are running in the like one they're selling in the 170 to 180 range and this one's listed for 125.9 um, and it's really not a whole lot of money to update it needs you know if you really want to update it it needs pretty much everything but uh, you know to update a thousand fifty one square foot two bed two bath unit uh, wouldn't take a whole lot so as we come in here it's definitely 80s style. It looks like whoever had it did attempt to update the kitchen at one point, uh, probably in the 90s, late 90s, with uh, some new cabinet fronts. Uh, but the boxes are original, and the uh, looks like the countertops and appliances. <laughs> These appliances might even be original. <laughs> Based on this dishwasher here and the stove, um, so here's the front porch area. Let's go out here if I can get the door open. No, oh, it's got a chain. That I can't get out. Anyways, you can see it's a little porch area. Does have a gate there. Plenty of green space, and it's not a real big community. So you've got, this would be your uh, pantry, or it was probably a coat closet at one point, and they turned it into a pantry. Good size main living area. How much? This one's 125.9, Patty. Two bed, two bath, single story condo building. The HOA fees here are a thousand thirty five a quarter. Um, so you're talking forty one hundred dollars a year, so about three fifty a month. 
um, and it is, they do have a marina here. Uh, they do not come with, most, most units don't come with boat slips, but uh, if the owners already own it, then they would potentially sell it. Well, they would pretty much have to sell it with a slip because you're not allowed to own a slip. Uh, in the, it's a private marina, so you can't own the slip in here if you don't own a, a unit in here anymore. So when you sell the unit, you typically sell the slip with it. There are slips for sale. Uh, they're selling typically for between 12 and 15,000. It's in North Fort Myers. It's right off of Bayshore Road, east of 75. So um, I love this emerald green carpet. Um, east of 75, about, I wanna say maybe two, two and a half miles or so, um, right on the river on the Caloosahatchee. Um, and I did take a picture of the uh, marina and the boat slips as well, so that uh, I'll, we'll drop it in the uh, comments afterwards. So there's a lot of lights burnt out in here, including the uh, guest bathroom lights, but uh, everything appears to be in really good shape. It's just dated. Um, so if you want a really inexpensive option that you don't really need to do anything to, except for maybe throw some appliances in, uh, as you can see, this is the laundry and there's no washer and dryer. Um, but you can get into this thing. 125 nine is what it's listed for. Um, and you know, if you want something that you can update and make a little money on, this would be a good option too, because it, it can't cost much to update a thousand fifty square feet. And like I said, they're selling in the 170 to 180 range. Updated. So here's your master, master suite and master bath. And it does have sliders from the master out to the lanai. Some more of that emerald green carpet. I'm shocked that it's in this good a shape for, uh, for how old this carpet's gotta be. But it's not original carpet because there's pink carpet in the closet. So here's your master bath vanity. You got a nice size walk-in closet here. There's your pink carpet. That's probably the original. Oh look, there's a dressing mirror in here. And then the rest of the bath, here's your toilet and the shower. And again, in remarkably good shape. Got a little seat in there and everything. I'm sure it was probably a uh, vacation home. There we go. For the owners and uh, they probably never really used it a whole lot. It's in fantastic shape for the age and the fact that it's had very little done to it. Um, let's see here. Is that? Okay, so they've got this uh, screened in, or uh, it's a screened in lanai and these look like shutters, like uh, roll down, let me see. Yeah, they're roll down shutters and they appear to work. Um, so that's nice too. So you can just close up the lanai when you're ready to head home and be done. And then it backs up to another golf access community. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think it's called Kingsgate if I remember correctly. Um, that's all single family homes. And uh, so separate community gated. Um, but uh, nice golf access as well with single family homes right behind you. So... Um, very nice, quiet area, private and crazy affordable for what you can get for, I mean, for a golf access condo, you're not going to find one much cheaper than this. And then with only $350 a month fees, uh, boat slips, I don't remember if I said that or not, but they typically sell for between 12 and 15,000. There's a couple of them for sale now. Uh, I stopped at the clubhouse and, and checked. 
Um, and there's also a few of them for rent. Um, I saw a couple of them listed for rent for like $40 a month up to, or like $400 for the entire year. So if, you know, if you're looking for an affordable boating, golf access boating community, this is a fantastic option. A uh, good opportunity to fix this up. I mean, you can buy this cheap and use it as a rental. There were probably, uh, there was only one place on the bulletin board here listed for rent. And there were about 17 cards on there for people looking for places to rent in the season. So there is definitely a demand for rentals in here. Um, and I don't know exactly what they would rent for, but I can do some research and find out for you if that is something that you were interested in. But it could be a great investment property or um, a great place as a, a second vacation home or... Um, you know, if you're looking for a, a small place to make your home base and you're a boater that, that uh, you know, just wants a small, inexpensive place to be while you're, uh, while you're out on the water, this could be a spot. So uh, if this is something you're interested in, let me know. Um, or if you're interested in one of the others, you know, if you don't want to do the work and not worried about uh, uh, messing with that, let me know that too. I can get you in and show you one of the, uh, uh, one of the ones that's not... Uh, or that, that's already been redone. So, anybody got a question? Let me scroll back through here and see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you could definitely fix this up and, and live in it while you're doing it. I mean, you could do the guest rooms. You can use the kitchen and do redo the guest room and then move into the guest room and redo the master or vice versa, whatever. Um, but I mean, really just throwing some new appliances in here, everything's in great shape. I mean, yeah, these countertops are for mica and you know, they're not fancy, but they're, uh, you know, completely livable, super clean, very, very well maintained, uh, condo. So if this is something you're interested in, let me know. Uh, you know where to find me either here on Facebook. Uh, you can catch us on YouTube, Jerry Neesman. Um, Check out our, uh, our team Facebook page at the Neesman team at Keller Williams Realty. Um, or call me, send me a text here. Rachel will put the, uh, the email address and everything. My cell phone's 239-201-9583. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.